Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a sprinting script. I'm going to use a local script for that. That will be in the starter GUI. And I'm going to call this sprinting. Sprinting. Like that. Or sprinting script. And what I will do now first is Set some variables again. One will be game players dot local player. This will be all player. This only works in local scripts. In server scripts, you can't use local player. The next variable will be the sprinting to false and. Yeah, that should be okay. Now we will do, I will do some comments actually. So just a little bit clean. I will call this inputs. And this will be uh updater or something. I don't know. For inputs, I'm going to use key up and down. I will connect these. I will use left control for both for key up and down, not shift because sometimes games have shift lock and it's getting a little bit weird. Then if we are going up with the key, we will set it to false the splinting and if it's down we make it to true. Now here for the updater I'm gonna do a heartbeat. And we'll also make it to comments now. I'm gonna call this walk speed. And this will be the field of view. So let's start with the walk speed. The first thing is we need a character. So I'm gonna do player, character, character. You output character or char. If we have a character, we will do a um, find first child. So if character is not nil, because maybe the character is right now destroyed or something, gonna do a find first child of the character humanoid. So if you also have a humanoid, what we can do is result the humanoid. And can this sprinting equals to false and true. You can do set object property of humanoid walk speed. If it's false, the default would be 16. If you change it in your game to other speed, with the other script, you have to change this. And if it's true, we can just do it to or something. You have to play around with that how you like to. So next thing, the field of view, like right now, we can sprint, but we can make it look cool. This is now an addition you can add if you want. Let's just move this a little bit more. What we're gonna do is get the object property of okay, not workspace, but current camera, the field of view. Now, what we will do is if we are sprinting or not sprinting, also here, both again. What we will do is not if. So if it's false and field of view, the default would be this here of the camera. So if the field of view is bigger than the default, what we will do is subtract the field of view by one. And output the field of view for the, if it's true, we will do is 
the field of view is lower than now here you have you will put your max field of view like i will use now 90 so this will be the field of view if you're sprinting and here we're gonna do an addition of the field of view plus one will be field of view and now we're gonna use a math block just to after this with the climb function of field of view the minimum is 70 the default and the max would be 90 the max and this will be your field of view and this we're gonna set now i'm not using tweening because you can't cancel tweening and if you spam the control button now in my case sometimes it could glitch out and the camera would then be in the wrong position or something if you want to try tweening you can i'm not gonna use it for this thing here but you can try it uh, let's test this now we have the normal field of view and now i'm holding control and zooming out so we get this effect here could also make it a little bit faster by just could actually make here in variable with yield of view speed or something to number we're gonna do this too and to this subtraction and addition we're just gonna put this variable so we only need to change this up here so now it should be faster and now we have a cool effect for sprinting. Oh, I don't want to select everything. And yeah, this is how you make a sprinting effect. Now we can go to the doors we made last time. Yay. And well, this doesn't work for mobile. For mobile, you would have to make maybe a Printing GUI. I could actually make this now as an addition. So we're gonna make a screen GUI and call this printing GUI something. And put the script inside of this. Let's make a image button or text button or whatever. And we're not gonna make now a beautiful button, just a button that works. For this button, you just have to make your own one. I'm not gonna make you button now, that was beautiful. Like that, we have a spinning button. Let's call it call this print button. And now we go to the input. GUI. Uh, what do we have? GUI, right mouse. Now we want left mouse up and down. I think this also works for. Uh, yeah, this should also work for mobile. I don't know. I think so. So, uh, down and up. So if up we make it to false and if down we make it to true and now if we do hold it it also does this maybe we should put it on the other side but that's the thing you can do so now if we hold this button we also sprint and it should also work on mobile i think i don't know how the Go left mouse up and down works on mobile. Yes, the, but this would be how you make a button for this. And what you could do if you only want this button for mobile is just this touch screen, put it somewhere. This mobile or something. If 
mobile. We're just gonna make it invisible by default. And if mobile equals to true, just set the object property of the button visible to true. So now the button is not here and now in I'm just gonna change this to false so if we are not mobile the button is there. So if you don't like a button for PC players then you can just add a little yes, touch screen block with equals to true to set object property visible to true. Or you could just do this mobile. Like, if it's true, make it true. Play, not here. It's also a thing you can do. But yeah, this is how you can make a sprinting script. Now there's no stem stamina or something. This would be an extra thing you would have to do. Could also make a tutorial for stamina if you want to. Write it in the comments, and yeah, bye bye.